Mr. Atrophy here, and I'm going to be tackling a subject here. I, I don't really want to, but I, I have to because I really haven't seen anybody else have the balls to bring this up. Mitt Romney is a Mormon. He wears magic underwear. If he hasn't taken the oath of vengeance, his relatives have, which by the oath applies to him. He has sworn allegiance to the apostles and the prophet above every other thing on earth. There are multiple tenets of the Latter-day Saints which push the need and desire for a theocratic state, or what I've seen listed as a theodemocratic state, which is a combination of a theocracy and democracy. And I've been reading about the White Horse Prophecy and how Mitt Romney is a miracle baby. He was he seems to be groomed to be in this position. And I really think, even though Mitt Romney is basically the embodiment of the 1%, the number one issue here should be, he's a Mormon. And even though there's a separation of church and state, some of the oaths that this man has taken conflict with the oath he would have to take to be president. And if he was to take the oath to be president, he would, if I understand right, pretty much have to resign being a Mormon because a president answering solely to the prophet of the Latter-day Saints um, it's a really fucking scary thing and nobody's bringing this up if Mitt Romney becomes president he answers to the prophet of the Church of the Latter-day Saints and I, I just can't believe nobody's bringing this up nobody's looking it up nobody has the balls to talk about it on any news station I've been bugging the Young Turks for a month to bring this up And if anybody would, they would. And I, w I want answers. You know, the, the, the Book of Mormon, whatever you want to call it, um, it's not an easy read because it's such a crappy book. And there's some really crazy shit in there. Um, I'm going to try to find one free online, and I'm going to try to post a link. And, uh, you know, if, if, if I, I really want an answer to this. Why isn't this an issue? This should be the first thing people talk about when they talk about Mitt Romney. Will you still be a Mormon as president, and will you still answer to the prophet or the apostles of the Church of Latter-day Saints? Which will be a higher authority to him? The Book of Mormon or the Constitution? Who will he answer to? The people of the United States or the people that run his church?